Okay, so, <laughs> um, welcome to Cedar Park, sort of, anyway. So, I was looking around on Google Maps and came across an EV go station, which is just to my left. Uh, I didn't even know that was there. Anyway, 18 miles, 29 minutes, 259 miles per mile. Um, uh, so, oh, going back, let's go back. Oh, yes. The Highland Lake Boulevard stop sign. Yes, indeed, FSD grabbed it for himself coming around the corner at the storage place that's close to it um there were several cars coming the other way and f steel oh there's cars on the road well of course there's cars on the road it's a road and it's a two-lane street so what do you expect well what are you expecting cars going the other way in their own lane yeah okay now that i've complained about fsd i roll up to the red light on loman ford the light turns green, FSD goes up and turns left. No problem. If he can see across the street, he can go. It's just if somebody's in part, if somebody stopped in front of him, he doesn't have that vision. Okay, whatever. So going, going um, up Lowen Ford, 1431, no issues. The magical Tesla traffic light was not magical today. It was just flashing yellow. Surprise, surprise. So, um, yeah, wow, this has actually been, I mean, I am admittedly just a little bit east of 183A, but all the things that usually trip me up in this this area, at least on 1431, didn't trip me up. That's pretty amazing. We didn't have switch lanes. Um, I mean, admittedly, there was a car that was rolling up to the stop sign and it didn't look like it was going to be able to stop, break on the off, move to the middle lane quickly. And it turns out, as soon as, he, as soon as they saw me doing that, they go like, oh, yeah, uh, maybe I better not run the stop sign. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't. But I didn't trust you anyway. Anyway, there you go. Wow. What an incredible drive so far. Onward, upward. All right, from the EV go down to Walmart over here by Ronald Reagan. Two miles, ten minutes? Really? It was that bad of traffic? <laughs> anyway, it's 235 watt hours per mile. Um, yeah, for some reason, oh man, FSD is not happy on this little two mile segment. Man, I don't know. Um, all right, so pulling out on Discovery, turn right on to uh, 1431. At first, I'm gonna go to the outside lane, but then I see that there's nobody coming from my left and then I can go into the middle the middle lane. Okay, awesome. Because I'm going to turn left eventually anyway, so I might as well. All right, so we're moving along, and uh, did I have FSD on? I must have turned FSD on at some point. Okay, whatever. Um, for some reason, I didn't have FSD on. I did move up, maybe because I moved over. Man, FSD was not happy one bit. Okay, I moved over to the inside lane. Now, I'm following a slow car. There's a there's a Tahoe next to me that is going like, but I pay for gas. So I didn't realize when I bought a gas car that uses a lot of gas that it would use a lot of gas. Oh, yeah, you bought a Tahoe. You're, you're lucky to make 20 miles per gallon, right? Oh, no, I can make 22. Okay, whatever. Yes, my Camry could make 25. My Jetta could make 40 on a good day. You know, that's the thing, right? When you're picking a car, don't think about, well, it, when I have to carry 10 people, I have room in it, but I only do that once a year. Just rent a car and do that. You know? You, you how how often do you do it? Once a year? Twice a year? Don't be don't be dumb about it. I mean, whatever. Or I, you know, once every two months, I gotta pull a trailer with it. I mean, you could just run a truck and pull a trailer. Come on, come on, man, come on, be smarter. Okay, whatever, whatever. Um, anyway, for some reason, when I turn on FSD after after, after Tahoe finally 
gets enough mass moving to move past the slow poke I'm following, I go to the inside lane to follow this Tahoe. FSD immediately turns on the right turn signal, wanting to go through a car that's next to me. Because he doesn't want to go as slow as the car in front of me. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I thought safety had something to do with the mission, but maybe not. There was some, some statement about FSD is far safer than a human driver. And yet it's the human driver is keeping this Tesla from being in a wreck. So he didn't do it just once. He did it twice. So, okay. Brake on us. off. No, 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 no. So I was, at first I was going, because it's been a while since I've had to do this. I'm like, this sucks. I hate it. And now, like, oh, wait. Yes, that's right. I can go up here to autopilot, hit minimal lane changes for current drive. It almost should be all the time. And until FSD grows up. Yes, I'm still in 11.4.9. Yes. So all of go, oh yeah, it's been solved almost. Well, they said the same thing with 11.4.9. Yes, they're talking about uh, FSD 12 or 12.2.1, whatever it is. Yeah, I, I don't know. If it was really that much better, you think they'd be pushing it. Obviously, it's not to that level yet. Or they would be pushing at least to a couple of cars here in Central Texas because a friend of mine contacted me and she was asking about it and I said, well, I'm, okay, here's the version I'm at. I, I'm, I still have loaned that 4.9. It's the FSD that they're, they're waiting on. Obviously. Because even, I have another friend who has a, a, has a Model 3 uh, rear-wheel drive. She's on regular pushes for updates. Her version is far ahead of the version I have on here because I have FSD. That's the only reason I can think of. Oh, what's, oh well, I have a 2020. Yeah, okay, that's it, that I have a 2020. And, and, and my other friend, uh, her car is a 2018, I think it is. So yes, we have, we have relatively old cars, yes. Cars that if you want to Tesla right now, you could buy one for under $25,000. No, it's a used car, yes. But you could buy, I think it was a, a 2020 used Model 3. I think it's, uh, where was it, in Dallas? No, I didn't. It, I'm sure it doesn't have FSD on it. But that shows what's been going on. Because it used to be that car was around 30000 Right? The prices have been dropping down. Yes, the trade-in value on this car is twenty-two-five, according to Tesla. Okay. I mean, yeah, I, I could probably uh, finagle a deal with uh, one of those big car seller companies, get a better price. But part of the problem is you have to have a certain amount of cash down. I'm not ready to do that right now. And plus, I can't, if I heard right, I can't pick up, maybe I need to check. I can't pick up a refresh Model 3 long range. Yes, I'm, go I'm going to give up the performance. Oh, man. Okay, anyway, whatever. Life goes on. So, I finally remember to put on minimal lane changes, and we do okay. FSD is not particularly happy, but okay. So, we're rolling up into the turn lane to come, come into the west end of Walmart. Okay. The the light turns red as I'm rolling up, so I'm I'm the first one. When the light turns green, FSD suddenly goes stupid. Oh, uh, wait, what what am I doing here? But we're making a left turn here. You're gonna make a left turn into that driveway. Well, I don't, I don't know how to do it. Yeah, yeah, all of a sudden he just grows stupid. Now on an accelerator, get the car moving, and he kind of sort of feet, 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 feet with his wheels and goes. And sure enough, when it comes time to turn right, 
We go, hey, hey, hey. Put on the accelerator and keep it moving. Come on. I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what you're doing. Just being stupid. Um, so we're going to go past the front of uh, Walmart. Which sounds okay. And parts of it, he's handling well. There's even pedestrians. He's handling that. But then there's there's a, a delivery truck delivering water, maybe? I don't know. It looked like water, but whatever. Um, now, he's going to turn, he's going to pull over to the right because he's going to drop stuff. So he's going to get out of the traffic lane. For some reason, FSD is tracking left across the line like as if he's tracking to hit him. Is that possibly what he's thinking? I don't know. Okay, break on us the off. I'll take over. I can handle it. I get that it's a bit too much for you. Uh oh. <laughs> Their card things are well. Okay. Anyway, that's where that's where we are at. Um, I would say pro probably I would have to say the highest grade possible today would have to be a B because this definitely not this segment is definitely not an A performance. Onward, upward, charge. All right, guys, welcome to the Tesla Supercharger. All right, so I, I'm parked actually as a Ford should. Okay, whatever. Two miles, eight minutes, 322 watt hours per mile. All right, so yes, to get around some traffic, I did goose it up a little bit. Yes, sir, re Bob. You betcha. Oh, man. All right, so let's see, pulling out. So as usual, he does his. So he does his whole circuitous route, and for some reason he settled on doing the cut instead of going all the way out to the Walmart store and then making his turns. Because if you go into the Walmart store, you'd have clear view. Not that we want clear view, do we? On a vision-based system. Okay, in the in the cut, as I said before, there's a there's a brick or it's not really brick but stone wall that you can't really see through. I don't care how good FSD is. If I'm leaning forward in my seat and I can't see, he can't see from a B pillar. Okay, whatever. Break on the stuff. Because there's cars coming. It was that was an easy to actually, no, let's be fair. There was a car waiting to turn left into the gas station area. And he was releasing to roll forward. There's a car right there. Right there. Okay. Not literally right there, but virtually right there. You couldn't go forward because there was a car. Could you roll forward a foot? Yes, you could roll forward a foot, but why? Because there's another car right behind, or a truck actually, behind him. Okay, whatever. Uh, brake on SD off. Wait for the traffic to clear. Let the human driver handle the situation rather than trusting FSD with it. Okay, so rolling up to the traffic light, FSD on. I uh, mean, after make the left turn, FSD on. I mean, I've already shoved it to the right to go to the outside. Um, at first, FSD wants to start going back towards the middle, but then realizes he sees lines he has to follow. So he fits into the outside lane. Just barely. Come on, man. Piece of junk. Yes, you can tell I'm getting kind of irritated today, huh? You bet I am. Uh-huh. Um, so we get, we get on to 1431. FSD's on. And finally, we're in the outside lane and we can go. So all of a sudden, California Road Rager shows up to do the acceleration. Yeah, you know, California Road Rager is the opposite of Pokey. Pokey, well, it says it's 55. I think I'll accelerate to 5 and then maybe 10. Yeah. California Road Rager says, hey, look, in half a mile, the lights, the traffic light's red, and I see red brake lights in front of me. Let's accelerate hard right now. And he keeps it on, and he's like, uh, 
that is a traffic signal up there. It's red light. Okay, whatever. Eventually, he gets the idea, and the, those people who are reporting that they're getting sick of having FSD thrown around the car, this this is what's going on. It's California Road Rager. Doesn't, and when he's in charge, he doesn't think about maybe we should just ease into it. Right? I'm, I'm complaining about pokey accelerating. Now I'm complaining about California Road Rager accelerating. It'd be nice if it was smooth. Now, what was promised was when version 12 came out, it would be smoother. So those of you on 11, like I am, suck it up. Or don't use it. Okay, whatever. Um, at some point along here, FSD really wants to go. Oh, in fact, he does actually. He he wants to he wants to go around people. Okay, so he moves into the middle lane. He catches up to a Ford F100 where the guy's cruising along with his right arm up on the seat, you know, the bench seats they had back then. You know, no, he's going about as fast as he can go. And let's face it, he's probably burning like eight miles to the gallon or something. He'd be lucky if he's making that much, actually. Right? I mean, gas didn't used to be a concern way back when. Okay, so FSU, yeah, I'm going left again. Go in the inside lane. Yes, we're in the inside lane now. Yahoo! You do know that we're less than a mile away from a right turn. Yahoo! Let's go! Okay, break on OC off. Move it over. Saying, at, at first, use the turn, the stock to signal the lane shift. FSD can't handle it because it's not his idea. Okay, I don't know why he can't handle it. I just assume it's because it's not his idea. He's going to be like, oh, I'm going to do it. Okay, brake on the steer off. Newman driver handles it, right? At the time when you want automation to help you out, it's safer and better for the human driver to handle it. Come on, man. Okay, whatever. Peace of the harmony. Um, and then there's a spot that opens up eventually. Move it to the outside lane, uh, just as we're about to approach 183A. Uh, FSD back on. FSD does indeed handle getting into the turn lane. Yay! I've gone from I've gone from earlier today saying, "Oh, this is a really good drive," to celebrating the small victory of being able to go from the outside lane into the turn lane. Wow! Yeah! 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 Okie dokie. All right, so there are cars coming out, and to get to Menchie's, we have to go to the left. As soon as the spot opens up behind the one car, oh, he's turning. There's no way he saw what, what was on the other side. No way. I know, I know, I'm sick. The B pillar is right next to my head, practically. Wow. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony, it's fine. Um, fortunately, there's nobody coming, but there's some confusing traffic going on. There is a Toyota Prius. Of course, it's a Toyota who's backing out of a spot. And, you know, you buy a Prius to save gas. So you go really, really slow all the time. Like as if you're grandpa. Yes. The, there was a car waiting on the other side, too. They're getting impatient, just like I am. Like, come on. Whatever. I get it. It's a Toyota. They're the guys who, with a head start, still can't create a reasonable EV. What? You've heard there's a BZ4X? And actually, I heard there's some improvements to it, but I haven't heard anybody go back and retest it. I know previously you could fast DC fast charge it once a day. What's that? Yes. Uh, it, on, on my trips... I'm fast charging eight, 10 times in a day, right? Could you imagine being only able to do that first fast charge and for the rest of the time taking over an hour at each stop? Oh my goodness. It's bad enough it's taking 20 minutes, okay? I can't imagine taking over an hour. I might also have a Chevy Bolt. 
the Chevy Bolt's not derating itself. It just can't go faster in 50 kilowatts. Okay, whatever. Actually, Chevy Bolt's perfectly, perfectly acceptable as an around-town car and that kind of stuff. And even taking on a, a reasonable short trip. Don't get me wrong. Uh, uh, no, it, as a second car, if I thought I could tolerate a Chevy Bolt, I would have bought it. But, I mean, whatever. Peace and Army. Um, okay, so whatever. Uh, break, break on FSD off. No more FSD. We're, so the reason why I use Menchies is because I actually want to go to superchargers, but I don't want the precondition to go to supercharger because I'm not going to charge. So if I put in Menchies, it's like right around the corner from superchargers. There you go. Um, so the, the one last thing I'll say is there's, there's two girls who are walking. They're walking in the parking lot. They're actually coming from the uh, uh, highway side. They're going to cross over to the stores. And they're just walking like completely clueless, dude. Oh, whoa. It's up to the human driver. You're like, oh, crap. Those people are stepping right in front of me. I better break. Right? And then they just kind of casually stroll along. And they glance at me like, oh, there's a car there. Wow. You know, some mom somewhere, you almost lost your kids today. Okay, was I going fast? No, it's a parking lot. But like quite possibly a broken leg, some kind of injury. You know, you gotta be aware of what you're doing when you cross parking lot. I mean, over there at Walmart, I, I was driving, I was walking along and I saw this car and he's coming up fast. In Walmart, they have signs all over the place saying you're obligated to stop for pedestrians. So you know what's gonna happen, right? I'm gonna sue you and your insurance company and your car maker getting all the money I can get out of you if you hit me. But I don't do that. I don't step in front of a car that I don't trust. I'll, I'll walk the long way around to avoid you. And usually when I do, it's like, it's a good thing I didn't trust you. No, okay. That's not fair. 70% of the time, somebody's like, oh, okay, I goof. Sorry, go, go ahead. But I've already made up my mind. I'm not going in front of you. No. You have to be aware of what you're doing. Okay, whatever. So here I am taking those girls' side. But the message here is, if they're your kids, you need to sit them down and talk to them and say, don't walk out in front of somebody where they can't see you. Because there was other traffic in that parking lot. I couldn't see them till right before they're about to step in front of me. Wow. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. It's all good. Uh, they, no, but, no teenagers were hurt in this filming yeah okay whatever peace and harmony okay one mile three minutes 386 watt hours per mile yes okay I did use the accelerator in, in one spot just to get going okay there it is um so I did interrupt FSD once coming over and that is, I'm following a slow car in the outside lane. And, gee, oh, there's a semi-dump truck in the middle lane. FSD wants to follow the semi-dump truck. Who, guess what, is going the same speed. Come on, man, you can do better than that. You know, and when you want to go around, make sure you can be able to go around and get back over in time to make your turn. He doesn't have that logic yet. Maybe someday he'll grow up to be a 15-year-old. Okay, welcome to Laga Vista. I'm not quite home yet. I'm just taking a quick little stop here. Uh, 12 miles, 22 minutes, 250 watt hours per mile. Hmm, okay. Um, no, wait. It would have been... <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, see, I've already forgotten what happened here. So, coming out from HEB onto uh, Bell... Man, he's, he's slow to act. He's going, I have to think about it. Now, keep in mind, we had to go across 
two lanes plus get over to the turn lane. Yeah. But yeah, he handles he's just slow. Okay. But when we roll up to go right on the 1431, he's rolling. There's cars coming. There's he's rolling. No break on us, yeah. Um let's see, as we're driving along here. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think he's really fighting me so much here. So we're, I guess we're okay. Yeah, that school bus did indeed. That's Cindy. She should know better. He, yeah, so I, there's a school bus that was uh, turned out from West Street Park Road. They were going to go left in rush hour traffic. Yeah. Craziness. Whatever. Sped drivers operate in a different spectrum. Okay. Um... So anyway, today is just like crazy slow, it, but it's rush hour traffic. What do you expect? Right? It's just the way it is. Um, is there any FSD goose? No. There's not really any FSD goose. Is there stupid traffic? Oh, yes, there's stupid traffic. But is there any FSD goose? And FSD's off. So um, as we're coming up where we go from two lanes to one, there, there are people who are coming up on the right side who are going to try to cut in, right? Because they can't wait in line. Oh, no, I'm too important to wait in line. Okay, I can already identify who you guys are, so it's easy enough. I just have to tailgate the car in front of me. Now, the car in front of me, yes, there is a pickup that cuts in front of that person. Yeah, so there's always somebody who go, oh, you poor dear. Oh, you couldn't make it. Oh, and you'd rather crash into me than to get home safely. Well, I'd rather not crash into you. There's always people like that, right? No, you don't reward people like that. But there's no choice. Okay. Um, so anyway, FSD's off when we... Because of the... Uh, Going, going down the single lane, I turned FSD off, and so I took, I kept FSD off until we got back out of the construction zone. And while I turned FSD on briefly, ever so briefly, um, I turned it back off again because I want to make this little stop and it's not on the route. So there you go. Onward up for charge. Okie dokie, just a little look at the NGGraph. I love it when it says 122 or 106, whatever it says there. That's cool, I love that. All right, so seven miles, it's seven miles, come on. Okay, 13 minutes, 180 white hours per mile. All right, so um, pull out on the highway, 1431. And um, as we approach Loman Ford, I can see that we're rolling up on a red light there's two dump trucks and a cement mixer in front of me. So they aren't going to turn right. They're going to be going straight. So we're going to be here a, wet, a while. Plus, they're going to accelerate slow. Going, going slide, ever so slightly uphill? Yes. So the opening going to the uh, Lowe's Market Shopping Plaza is open to the right. Go in there, take a shortcut, go around, come out low and forward. Um, I'm sure uh, navigation FSD are not particularly happy about that because they don't know where I'm going, but that's where I'm going. I'm going around. Okay. Um, come up on uh, Loman Ford. That's a mix of traffic as usual. Today we have somebody who's, who is dedicated to getting in front of me uh, and in fact in front of the car in front of me. N nothing personal against me. They're just going, oh, I'm going really fast. Yeah. I mean, we just rolled by one log of us, the PD car, but whatever. He, they were stopped for lunch or dinner, whatever it is. Um, at least that's what it looked like. So whatever. Um, so actually, I don't have FSD on here. I'm just rolling without FSD. Turn on to uh, Boggy Ford. Accelerate down to where we get to the 40 mile per hour speed sign because Tesla will not allow me to go 40 before then. 
In fact, Tesla's declared that it's 30. I mean, I don't, normally, he, when he doesn't know what it should be, he declares it's 25. So I'm not sure why he's declaring it's 30. That's unusual. But okay, whatever. Peace and Army. Um, FSD on. Um, there was a... It may not have been here, but at one point there was there was a car coming by, and it was a, it was a Mercedes and that was huh! okay, whatever. There's a car, so there's a car that's going to turn on Highland Highland Lake Boulevard. Okay, they have a turn lane and they're in the turn lane. FSD is looking at that car and slowing down. And in some ways, it looks like he's trying to figure out if he's going to follow that car or not. And there's no reason to follow that car. But he's also going, well, as long as that car is there, I have to slow way down. Oh, come on. No, you don't. They're turning left. We're going straight. Act like as if we're going to go straight. Okay, whatever. In several other places, he does that same kind of thing where he goes, oh, there's a car there. Actually, I don't... Did I say that before? Yes, there was a line of cars coming around one curve. And FST said, Oh! There's cars on the road! Oh! And, oh, what, what can I say? Uh, yeah, so? They're in their lane going the other way. That's normal traffic flow. You can't even handle normal traffic flow? We have a problem. What's that? Yeah. Houston, we have a problem. Okay, whatever. Enough knocking FSD because it's a piece of junk. I mean, sometimes it's really great. But once once he starts going off the deep end, oh, man, he, he's he's struggling. Best thing to do at that po point is to break on FSD off and uh, just drive normally. Or drive with... The inferior human controlling the car. Because FSD, oh. Yeah. Okay. But then again, that's why it's FSD beta, because it's not fully ready. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. Did I already say this? 7 miles, 17 minutes, 180 watt hours per mile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Do I still have any of the, you ice people out there? Yes, there's always ice cars. It's like, there was a guy in an Acura today. Oh, I'm going really fast. Get out of the way. Okay, go ahead, go by. Once he went by, they were like, oh, wait. Uh, you mean I'm going to have to leave? Um, yes. When, when you're getting close to me? When you're tailgating me, you're saying that you're going fast. And if there's room to move over, I will. Because I'd rather you go by, you go find that Jonestown cop who's looking for a ticket to give out today. I'd rather you get it. Go ahead, take it. Not that I would get a ticket for the speed I'm going. But you know, if, if you want to go get that ticket, go get it. Go get it. Go, go, go. Okay, whatever. Uh, so what is that? Oh, that was an Acura MDX or something? Okay, for you guys who have Acura MDXs. Here you go. Total trip today was 42 miles. Total energy used was 10 kilowatt hours, which means it was a dollar and 10 cents of energy used today. Pretty sure an Acura, even a hybrid Acura, if they have those things, would not be able to come anywhere near close to 42 miles on, it's not even half a gallon, is it? Of regular unleaded. Okay, whatever, peace and harmony. Onward, upward, charge.